this yarn business is getting out of hand. <laughs> I have rescued some yarn from the charity shop today and when I go home uh, I realized that I've got no space. <laughs> I need to reorganize everything. This is my yarn spot and if I want to fill everything that is in there and in there I need to make space and the plan for more space is oof, <laughs> another shelf <laughs> um, it's one of these cube shelves I found on eBay and um, I'm going to put it at the top of these two uh, so I'm gonna get building and then I'm going to get reorganizing properly because it is very much a mess in here It says you need two people. Is the fact that I have Louis Theroux on my shirt count as like two people? Like me and Louis? Who knows? Two people. I can do it on my own. Ta da! <laughs> I did it this morning. <laughs> I gave up last night when I realized that I needed to go into the shed in the dark to get all the tools because they were not included uh, with the parts uh, and I didn't want to go into the shed in the dark so I stopped and I finished it this morning it was really quick <laughs> and uh, this reorganization is actually coming in uh, the perfect timing because yesterday evening a friend of mine came around and she dropped off this massive bag of yarn that she was not using so she gave it to me so yeah perfect timing because now I'm gonna have space to put it in <laughs> and thank you Mary for bringing all that yarn to me and helping me save ways going into landfill thank you as you can see, this little girl is not in a onesie anymore. She's all good. The vet said all good. Her, she, like, her little wound, her little stitches are really good. So now she's got a little bolt patch and her little scar that is going to be growing back. But she's all good. She's all free. <laughs> and she's climbing everywhere again. <laughs> I don't really know how I'm going to do this. I just know that I'm going to take out all of these on the top, put this bad boy at the top 
and then uh, we'll see how I go. Not sure yet. <laughs> See, these are my thank you card for when I've got an order. I put these awesome little cards. These are pictures from my uh, first uh, project photo shoot. These are all my cool scrunchie that are that I make and are available in my mystery scrunchie uh, listing. <laughs> this is my friend that modeled for me. And the pictures were made by Mary again because I love her work and we have so much fun together. So yeah, this is what you get at the moment when you order from me on my Etsy. <laughs> this is my first ever crochet project that I made when I learned how to crochet. It is not perfect, as you can see, but I am so happy with how it was. I might just try and make it again to see how I progressed since um, 2019. Let me know if I should make a video with like a before, meaning this one, and uh, an after, like a then and now. <laughs> I'm actually quite curious myself, so I might do it. But look how cute it was. Look how cute it is. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was heavy, <laughs> but I did it. I put it up. It's not the same size though, which uh, I'm a little annoyed about. But um, hey ho. Now we're just going to have to reorganize the yarn. Time to put my thinking cap on and see what I'm going to do with all that. Everything is on the floor. <laughs> My shelves are empty. It's quite comfortable actually. <laughs> so I have decided that um, all the skins with a label on, uh, I will be putting them at the top and then the one without a label on but are still full uh, I will be putting down and I will go my way down and the little scraps will be at the bottom. <laughs> so um, I think that will be the easier way. And hopefully this will work. But if you don't know what to do with all your scrap, with all your yarn, just make a bed. It's really comfy. I, I like the idea. Have a space now they all have a spot I just need to work on these that are just sad little flappy ones and the ones in balls like that I'm gonna have to get caking I already had some caked already but I've got all of these and the bag is full Full. and I only have these two there these two spot to fill <laughs> if I get make cake I might just put at the front of these and I might use that little cubie here these are all the cakes and that is a groom you <laughs> these are all the cakes that I had already made and I need to made make all these 
and these. These are not going to be made into cakes, they are too tiny. So they are going to end up in my bowl of scrap. From this. I have given up on um, the idea of uh, caking the balls because some of them are too thick for the yarn winder and some of them are just all tangled up and I really can't be asked to like sit there and untangle everything so I'm just going to put them in there and I'll just, yeah, I'll just maybe like do it another time. But for now, I'm just tidying up and I'll see what I'll do next. <laughs> Ta-da! I have given up on the yarn winding because most of the yarn was all tangled up or like too thick for the yarn spinner so I just put them here and I still have quite a bit in that bag but most of it is in there and it looks really cool and I'm happy <laughs> doing all this I have realized that I have so much yarn so I am definitely go not going to be buying anymore. Uh, I am going I am not going to say no if I get donated the yarn but I'm definitely not going to be buying anymore until I got more space to empty that bag. <laughs> <laughs> but doing that though, I have found some yarn that would be cool for some projects so I'm definitely be going to be using these in different projects so I'm excited about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how my little, my little setup is looking and has turned out. So a very productive day. <laughs> Bookwise, no update on uh, my progress with the other one, but I am going to read this guy. I have found out that, that uh, David Boronaz is going to London Comic Con and I really want to go. Uh, so I thought I'd read this first and then I'll have him autograph my copy <laughs> it is i've got this as a birthday present for my partner so that would be really cool to have my birthday present signed by angel himself that'll be cool <laughs> what are you reading right now let me know in the comments <laughs>